Alright, what's going on people, it's OGCP De Silva, and welcome today to some Black Ops 1 gameplay provided by Flying Turtle, one of my subscribers, and this is an impressive TDM game, a 6v6 game, where he went 53 and 3, 53 kills in a TDM game without Chopper Gunner, it was just him, his Golden Spaz, and his doggies. Now that is pretty darn impressive, so thank you for letting me use this gameplay Flying Turtle. Alright guys, let's get started. So the other day, I was thinking about YouTube, and more specifically, commentating, and how commentating has really shaped me into the person that I am today, and what is that type of person? That person is now more confident, more able to rely on his own thoughts and stick with those thoughts without being influenced by other people, and just overall being a more effective, concise, and efficient communicator. And other people that do commentaries will agree with me that in some way, shape, or form, this commentating thing has really helped them become a more effective and efficient communicator, no matter how minuscule or major it may be. Of course, when starting off commentaries for the very first time, I was very unsure of myself, not very confident, you could hear that in my voice and in my tone, and also I was very disorganized, I was all over the place and it would take me a long time before I got to my actual point. Also I didn't have that strong of a backbone, meaning I was heavily influenced by what other people said and I would base my commentaries on how well it would be received. But as you do commentaries and you're consistent with them and as you gain that experience, you learn to improve and you do a lot better. And there's nothing better than listening to a commentator who is clear, concise, to the point, and knows what he's talking about in the commentary, and most of all is confident in what he has to say. And this has honestly helped me in real life approach this whole public speaking, commentating, communication thing as well, because even though I'm speaking to a microphone right now and I can't see all of you guys, in real life I approach it the exact same way. I apply it as this, as I'm speaking to a microphone and all the people in the audience or whoever is watching in public are my subscribers. So I'm the commentator and they're my subscribers. And when I am speaking, when I am commentating or whatever, at that point in time, everybody has to stop and listen. I have to, at that point in time, relay my message, get my point out there, be as brief, as concise as possible, and just basically state what it is I want to talk about. And once I'm done, everybody can provide their feedback. And of course, you guys do it here in a form of a comment or a like. And in real life, they do it by either coming and approaching me and talking about it or talking amongst themselves, whatever, even if they don't want to approach me and talk about it and provide that feedback. So at that point in time, I drone everybody's thoughts out, what everybody is thinking, because at that point in time, it's only about me, what I have to say and how I'm going to say it, regardless of what everybody else thinks and what they think is the right way to go about it, yada, 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 all that garbage stuff. You just drone it out. You just have to be all about you. You can't think about all the negativity, all the criticism, all that everybody's gonna say because honestly, you get that here on YouTube the exact same way. Even though you might approach a situation one way or you might think that this is correct or you know you view a certain viewpoint um, your way here on YouTube, you can get criticism from people on the internet. And you know people on the internet are a lot, a lot more crude than they are in real life. I mean, you just have to share what you believe to be true and what your honest beliefs are in spite of what other people think or say. So I mean, those are a couple of thoughts that I had, something that I wanted to share with you guys. But anyways, the other day I was at Best Buy, was pre-ordering Battlefield 4, right? And I came across a stand with Call of Duty Ghosts, and I thought to myself, should I go over and see what this is all about, or is it going to be a waste of time? So I was contemplating at that point in time if I should go over or not, and I decided, you know what, I'm not going to lose anything by going over there and checking it out, so that's exactly what I did. And on that stand in the middle, there was a screen that was showcasing the trailers, the interviews, everything Call of Duty Ghosts related, obviously. And on the side, on the side of that stand, it was saying or listing the pre-order bonuses that you get, which are the t-shirt of Call of Duty Ghosts and the bonus map called Freefall, where you could fall through the cracks or fall, um, you know, because of the glass ground or whatever. Something stupid like that with the map hazard, but I don't even know how that's going to play in the gameplay itself. But that's besides the point. The point is this at that point in time I was put into a dilemma now I know I've been saying that I'm gonna wait 
on Call of Duty Ghosts, gonna see if it's better or not before I decide to pick it up, if I decide to pick it up at all. But you know, I noticed and I thought about this after I left the store, my channel has been built up because of Call of Duty and if it wasn't for Call of Duty, my channel wouldn't be where it is today. And honestly, I have to thank Call of Duty for that because it gave me a platform, it gave me gameplay to put in the background that most people were interested in watching. And I know a lot of people say post what you like will still be watching. That is definitely not the case and I could see that based on numbers. The numbers don't lie. It's all about the numbers, Mason. <laughs> but the numbers don't lie, honestly. And I'm speaking the truth. A lot of people say that it doesn't matter what you post. Um, we're gonna watch it anyways and I know some people actually carry out with this and there are loyal subscribers who do this but there are some people that won't and absolutely I repeat won't click on the video if it's not Call of Duty now I get that obviously you're not interested in other games and other games don't quite as often appeal to you as Call of Duty does but the numbers don't lie and that's the point that I'm trying to make Call of Duty is something that everybody is willing to watch everybody wants to watch call of duty and if i was to post battlefield 4 like for instance the battlefield 4 beta my thoughts on that that barely got any views compared to my call of duty videos and i don't want it to be where just because of a game people aren't watching my videos because i do have some quality content that i think i work hard to put out there and people aren't watching that because of a game i mean honestly that's not fair to me but it's something that i have to reform to because that's how it is but Call of Duty Ghost is something that I'm willing to buy and I just don't know yet if I'm gonna buy for the 360 or for the Xbox one um, first so you know help me out with this should I buy it right away with the 360 and this phone needs to turn off I don't know if you guys can hear that or not I'll probably drown it out if I can but um I'm going to see if I should um, get it from you guys from your feedback and obviously like I said before you guys do play a huge influence on what I have to say even though ultimately the decision is up to me I just want to know honestly what you guys think if sh if I should get it for the Xbox one or get it early for the 360 um, what do you guys think what are your opinions I'd like to know this is OGCP to Silva hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary today and I am signing off